Hi, I'm Joe Alton, MD, also known as Dr. Bones of doomandbloom.net, where you'll find over 600 articles, videos, and podcasts on the topic of medical preparedness. Together with my wife, Amy Alton, a nurse practitioner, we're the authors of the Amazon bestseller, The Survival Medicine Handbook. Oh, the New York Times bestseller, The Ebola Survival Handbook, and even the designers of a fun and challenging board game about preparedness, Doom and Bloom Survival. This is America's favorite noisemaker, TD Bird. I'm currently in the middle of a series of videos on antibiotics that may have applications in disaster settings, but the news is focusing on a virus, the bird flu. Over 7 million birds in the food industry have been euthanized recently due to the appearance of this form of influenza. Minnesota, one of the biggest producers of eggs and poultry meat in the United States, has recently declared a state of emergency due to large flocks being infected. The bird flu, also known as avian influenza, refers to viruses that primarily affect wild and domesticated birds. Influenza viruses are categorized by the letters H and N, which refer to certain proteins that are found on their surfaces. H1N1, for example, is the swine flu. H5N1 is the bird flu that caused a number of deaths in Asia in the recent past. Now, most of the birds infected in the United States this time around belong to the H5N2 strain, which is considered to have a low potential for transmission to humans. It's not really known why otherwise enclosed poultry farm operations are being affected, but migrating waterfowl and possibly rodents may be the culprits. Most bird flu cases in humans are found in those who work with poultry, so the majority of the population is at little risk. As well, pet birds, like parrots, are rarely affected. Viruses can mutate, however, and we're taking the threat seriously. Have no doubt, as an influenza virus, bird flu is airborne and can cause community-wide outbreaks in humans if mutations occur that increase the risk of human transmission. Therefore, it's wise to have among your medical supplies some type of antiviral medication. It should be noted that antibiotics kill bacteria but will have little or no effect against viruses. Influenza can be treated with an antiviral called oseltamivir, brand name Tamiflu. Tamiflu is effective in both prevention and treatment of influenza if given early. For treatment, 75 milligrams twice a day for five days will decrease the duration and severity of a case of the flu. This only works if given within the first 48 hours after symptoms occur. For prevention in high-risk settings, 75 mg once a day may decrease the risk of contracting the disease. Although a prescription medication, few physicians would be reluctant to provide you with a supply, especially during flu season. Now, don't forget the importance of frequent hand washing as a way to eliminate viruses. Many viral infections, including the bird flu, can be prevented with strict attention to hand and respiratory hygiene. Even ultraviolet light from the sun can kill bird flu virus. Hopefully the advent of summer will put enough stress on the virus before it does further damage to our nation's food production. In the meantime, however, know the signs and symptoms of influenza and get some supplies for your survival sick room. This is Joe Alton, MD, that old Dr. Bones, wishing you the best of health in good times or bad. Thanks for watching. Say goodbye, bird. Goodbye, bird. Learn more about epidemic diseases by checking out the Survival Medicine Handbook on Amazon.com with over 200 five-star reviews. Mm -hmm.